Why, hello there! Welcome to another Layman's Guide to Dark Souls. More of a guide of sucking so far, but nonetheless, let's uh, continue. So last time we got pretty much smashed by Havel, and since then I've upgraded my sword to do more damage. Just not that much fun watching me circle on a room for about 20 minutes getting smashed but I thought that we could do a different note this time and I guess we're gonna go after the butterfly and we'll see how we fare going the opposite direction this time Okay, let's not fall off the cliff immediately. That would not be good. Alright. And no. Alright. Much better damage wise. Secret, a super secret. Don't tell anyone. On fire. Which is actually extremely helpful. We're gonna become human. Da -da. So we can go summon our friend. Even though there's not a human here, there's a, a very useful NPC character down here. And there's an armor set that is just right there. We'll grab that afterwards. I don't want to pull all of these stone giants that are in the court here for those of you that don't know. Alright, so I'm actually using a different recording system this time and we'll see how that works out. If it ends up working out pretty well, I may switch to this one permanently. I'm actually trying out fraps right now and if that works out that would be awesome, but we'll see. So you just uncover the bushes, be human of course, and you can summon this extremely helpful companion for this fight. And hopefully she doesn't attack. Mr. Stone Giant. Which... Ah. And... Don't mess with Witch Beatrice. Alright, so anyway, most of the people don't start off as sorcerers, and that's pretty much what you need to be in this fight. Otherwise, it's going to be extremely long. So, alright, so I believe that the butterfly does magic damage. So, do we have anything? Magic... anything pretty much other than what I have, I guess. Cause that's gonna hurt. Seriously? I cracked around shield. There you have it, folks. That is kinda sad. Alright, well, we'll get lighter. There we go. Moonlight Butterfly. Well, hello there, friend. And so, there's two main attacks. There's the big attack. 
that is pretty easy to dodge. And then there is kind of the full little attack. And I'd much rather do the big attack as it's really easy to dodge. Gosh, there you go, finally. So, if you're a land lover like me, it's kind of hard to hit the Moonlight Butterfly unless she, we, it, is, and... Alright, and then when it starts charging up, you have plenty of time to back away. There's a little blast. But look at that, already down that far. I don't think a lot of people have trouble with this fight, but if you do, I mean, summon Weech Beatrice and she pretty much does the work for you. And, I mean, it's really that simple. So, really easy victory achieved. I don't like to say that I rely on my companions, but for that fight, it's just ridiculously easy when you have a companion. Which Beatrice, not even a human. Alright, so... Going all this way for pretty much nothing. I did it! Yes, you did. The watchtower basement key and some divine ember. Alright, well, don't want to forget to take that off. accidentally clicked off. Alright. Homeward bone it is. Okay. Alright, so the other thing that I wanted to do before I exited kind of this area is to go grab an extra ring. So we're going back down to... Oh, I said I was going to run and get that, huh? Alright, well... Alright, well first we need to make a pathway to where we're running to. Oh, that's weird. Alright. Alright, so I was having some trouble with my attack there for a moment. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So we're gonna just pull a bunch of stuff and then run away like the cowards we are. Oh, shoot! Hopefully they don't have a long pull. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're just gonna run away. So we just killed that fake tree and we're making our way down. Hello, Froggy. And I don't believe that they usually follow you too far. We'll see. And there's another fake tree, and we'll just run past that. Some fake rocks. Fake rocks. Wow, you are an extremely long pole. And luckily we upgraded our sword. So there you go. And up here is going to be another stone guardian. Ancient stone guardian. 
And... Alright. Uh-oh, someone died. Just grab this wolf ring. And jump off. And now we're pretty much back. And I'm not letting you grab me. That is a very bad thing. Alright, pillage. Pillage. And I think he's gonna sprout out. Nope. Okay, you can stay down, that's cool. Oh yeah. Starting to get cocky now. We're gonna get cocky for a sec. Oh, I was hoping he'd back off. There's a long reach. And I forgot to put part of my body armor on. And my gold pine is already off. Oh my gosh, am I stuck? Do not get stuck on Dark Souls. And you do not want to get hit by that. That is probably the worst possible thing that can happen. So once again, bigger enemies. Not too much you can do with your stamina. Release and then block. And watch out for the third attack, I guess. It's a long reach. Extremely long reach. You know what? That's actually a really good strategy. Get him on a different level than you. And... There you go, folks. There's a strategy right there. Nothing he can do. And unfortunately, no weapon dropped. Alright, so there's one more enemy. Things are starting to pick up a little bit. Thank goodness. Alright, so this is probably where we're going to kind of lay it to rest. I'll probably level up and uh, stop the video, start it up again, and we'll see where we can go from there. And uh, thank you again for watching, everyone. Um, this is uh, Lame's Guide to Dark Souls. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, especially that comment. And uh, have a good day. And... Uh,